Sorry about that, that was a courier coming to pick up yet another Wii U that I've sold. <laughs> anyway, yes, I was talking about the uh, limited edition for Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I got, I ordered this from CEX, um, which is obviously a bit of a lottery, but it came boxed in good nick. The only thing wrong with it is a little tiny rip on the top, which probably happened, obviously it was sealed, I guess, and, but yeah, the, um, the sound track is in there. And awesome, awesome statue. Which is the main reason I bought it. Now this, I think it was 100 quid from CEX. Um, but like I say, I had the game anyway, so I sold the game for 40 and it was CEX credit again. So I wouldn't have paid anywhere near that. But um, yeah, seriously tough to have this. You know, anything Zelda, Pokemon, Mario, holds its value, all goes up, as we know, so... Got it with credit, so really happy to have that. Something else really cool. Uh, I think that's it for Switch stuff. Yeah, I haven't gone mental with Switch games, because I really want to play Breath of the Wild, and I want to try and finish Mario Odyssey, so... Buds, don't knock that over, please. You big fluffy hound. No, no, don't come over, no. I shouldn't have talked to you, should I? Go in your bed. Um, yeah, that's it with Switch stuff. I managed to get this one. Um, haven't bought too many World of Nintendo figures of late, but this was one that I did want, and that's Link from Breath of the Wild. Uh, I think it was 20 quid off eBay. There is, uh, I do want the Mario Maker one as well, just there. But uh, I can't keep up with these things. Some of them are ridiculously hard to get or don't seem to have come out over here. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I get them as and when I can. Uh, which is kind of the same for these, really. Uh, luckily, I got this one direct from Nintendo. Um, yeah, I think it so ten ninety nine and a bit of postage, are they? I think. Uh, and that is the Majora's Mask Link. It's really cool. Hopefully you can see them there. Yeah, um, Nintendo just after Christmas, seem to be restocking um, random amiibos here and there, so yeah, I was lucky enough to find one. I think I did put, put a link up on Facebook at the time, but you know, within a day or so they're always gone, aren't they? So, Oh, I'm not done with Switch stuff, I'm completely lying. Uh, I managed to get this, and this was also uh, from CEX. Again, with credit, like I said, I bought and sold a, sh uh, bought and sold a shit ton of stuff, so I think this was 60 quid, uh, but everyone um, who I told I was getting a Switch told me you've got to get a Pro Controller. And I really like the look of this one, even though I haven't played the game. Uh, but that's the Splatoon 2 uh, Pro Controller. Hopefully you can see the detail on there because it's cool as hell. Uh, I have to say this is a fucking awesome controller. It really is. So, so comfortable. Um, pr probably my favourite controller of the modern consoles, to be honest. Really, really do like this. Um, yeah, can't say enough good things about it, really. Um, right, this was an amazing deal. So there was an ad up on my local. Uh, it said, well, this is what it was. It showed a picture like this. So a PS2 box, and it said, um, PS2, no wires, five pounds. So I was like, well, I, I want the box anyway, because this um, this is one of the first things my missus ever bought me. I think the first Christmas we were together, she got me this particular PS2 set, which I sadly sold since, but wanted it back for nostalgia. So I was like, I want the box anyway. A fiver for the box isn't bad, so I thought, sod it. Yeah, I'll have it. Went and picked it up. Didn't even check inside. Um, got home and thought, oh, I'll have a look. And it wasn't a PS2 inside, it was a 320 gig PS3. God's honest truth, that, that was what it was. No wires, no controllers, but um, yeah, Fiverr, all worked perfectly. So I sold that for 56 quid, I think. I, I had a spare controller and I had all the leads, so I mean, very, very lucky. And that, you know, that obviously went towards some of the stuff you're seeing now. So that was awesome, and I got the box, because I had a fat PS2, 
to put in it and the controllers and stuff so it's like another complete system for nothing which is awesome um, yeah so well happy with that god I've still got so much shit here to show you it's untrue uh, these um, I sort of finished my little mini collection of Game Boy Advance consoles um, up there I've got the pink the purple and the clear purple all boxed I now have um, the platinum boxed. I had the box but now I've got the system. Uh, I didn't have this box or system and I obviously now have. That's the black one. I think that was about 30 quid. And again I had the box but no system. Now I have and that's the white one. So yeah that's kind of the six main colours for the Game Boy Advance that I wanted. All complete. This was uh, another local deal. Um, this also came with some other things, uh, I think there was some games, I have no idea where the games are, the kids have probably got hold of them by now. Uh, but this, um, I couldn't really turn down. I had a Game Boy to put in it as well, which yeah, is inside. But that's um, this, original Game Boy box. Uh, this is similar to the one I had as a kid, but this is actually a German box. You might be able to see the German writing. Um, but I paid 20 quid. Um, I sold the Game Boy that came with it because it was a bit manky for more than that. And put my decent one in. So, like I say, another box console. And, you know, German, quite cool. So, I love this box art too. So, I got that. And kept that. Um, we're getting to some good stuff now, people. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, this was on sale in Asda, I believe, for a fiver, and that's Hey Pikmin. I also picked up For Honor on the PS4, but sold that on. Uh, I think I sold that for 15 quid, so essentially this was free and I made a few quid, which is awesome. Um, this was a box only I bought from eBay. <coughs> um, I didn't read the small print enough. Um, I thought this was for a silver. Um, Game Boy Advance SP, but it's actually for the Arctic Blue version, which I don't have. So at the moment, this is just um, box inserts and everything. It's actually a really good nick, so I'll keep that until I find the Arctic Blue system. I think that was about a tenner. Um, these uh, are awesome. Uh, a little while ago, I think I've showed you. I picked up the um, download codes for Silver and Gold, obviously Pokemon, and I knew that <coughs> Crystal was coming out, so I pre-ordered that, and I managed to get, uh, well I didn't manage to get, I got these made uh, from uh, Adrian Fields, who um, I've mentioned before on my channel, who makes these awesome acrylic cases, so yeah I got cases, and they're really really cool. So that's obviously for silver, for gold, and you know with something this flimsy, I thought it's got to be worth. I think yeah, I think um, crystal has got a tiny, tiny crease on top, but I mean you've only got to look at these and they fucking bend, don't they? So yeah, I got those made. I think they were about a tenner each to make, roughly. Uh, worth it in my opinion, because you know, a few years time, that's going to be an absolute bitch to find in good nick. So, so I thought sod it, I'll make, I'll um, get those made, which is awesome. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, next, this is a Wii U box I've been after for a long time. Uh, one came up, so I snagged it, and that is the Super Mario Maker one. Obviously, no amiibo or um, system or anything like that. Just the box. Uh, I paid 25 quid for that, which I was happy. It's in good nick and everything, and you know I can find all the contents easy enough. So um, yeah, grab that while I could. I'm trying to get all the boxes that I can. Some of them are getting ridiculous to find. I think the Xenoblade ones are pain in the ass. But you know, if I come across them, I'll snag them. Um, I got this one for my birthday. Was this for my birthday? I think. Uh, couldn't pass this up. Um, and that's the Pikachu 2DS XL. 
that's really cool only problem is there's a little dink on top in the box the system's awesome so another uh, boxed Pikachu system oh excuse me I just opened my phone and I managed to get this one locally with some games um, so I got a good deal on this this cost me about 80 quid in the end I think uh, and that's the Pokeball edition which again is awesome really like these 2DS XLs so happy with that a um, few more things to go people and then we're done so this was with CEX credit uh, I traded in a shit ton of stuff, Wii games, uh, Wii U games, Amiibo I uh, managed to get 120 quid credit uh, and this had gone down to 110 which I didn't think was terrible and that is the NES Classic thought I may as well pick it up with credit as I didn't want to pay eBay money so well happy with that, it's all really good nick so now I've got the SNES and the NES version which is awesome and the last deal I got a couple of days ago um, cost me 200 quid but I think I got a real good deal so the first up is this and um, I wanted one of these when I was a kid or this version I should say and um, never managed to get it but now I have and that is the Super Mario All Stars Super Nintendo all boxed in nice condition, not mint, not retro Dave mint, but um, you know, in good enough condition for me, and I'm super happy to have this this version. Um, yeah, I'll be selling my. I've got the um, control set up there, which I'll be selling. So this won't have cost a lot in the end, but um, you know, I'm all about Mario. So yeah happy with that and that isn't all like obviously I didn't pay 200 quid just for that I also got this uh, I don't know if this was only available in France I'm no expert but I couldn't say no when I saw this um, I might make a you know more of an in-depth video on this one I've got more time and not just showing you stuff but uh, anyway I've got the Resident Evil 4 GameCube edition oh, God. GameCube Resident Evil 4 Special Edition. So, yeah. Perhaps I won't show you the actual GameCube and stuff now. Perhaps I'll make a different video on that. But the box is in pretty good nick. And everything inside has got the baggies and, you know, the controllers there. And I love this thing. Absolutely love it. It's awesome. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So I might actually use this as my main GameCube. And I'll make you use it alongside this, which is also included in the deal. Uh, which I've never had, and that is a boxed Game Boy player. So I'll now be able to play my Game Boy Advance games on my B&O TV, which is awesome. Uh, there's no insert, but um, I wasn't bothered really. Uh, but also in the deal was the Game Boy player disc. So um, yeah, obviously you need that to play. So well well happy with that 200 quid for the snares the cube the game boy player and the disc i thought it was a good deal well happy <clears throat> so yeah that is everything i've picked up well i say everything as soon as i stop making this video i'll, I'll have found something else in the room that i've gotten that i forgot to show you but i can always put it in the next video can i so thank you very much um if you managed to stick with me all the way until the end of this video uh, again, apologies for not having much content up, or any content really, uh, in the last few months. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, yeah, I'm hoping to get back uh, making regular videos of um, whatever. I really want to do a room tour, but I still, you know, as I said, this is all untidy as hell. I'm not that happy with it, so hopefully I'll get that tidy and do a room tour. Because the rest of the room I'm really happy with um, how it's come out and... Um, yeah, I'd like to share that with you in the near future. So, again, thank you for watching. Thanks for any new subscribers. And I'll hopefully uh, see you all again very soon. Cheers.